I'm a generational survivor of the Mush Hole, the Mohawk Institute Residential School. It was the first residential school and the longest operating, closing its doors only in 1970, and it's just down the road. People in Brantford don't even know that it was there. You heard that I introduced myself in my language, the Mohawk language. I was never taught that. I was never taught who I was as a Mohawk woman. My grandfather, as amazing and as proud and as wise as he was, he never taught me my ceremonies. He never taught me my language or my culture. And it wasn't his fault. Instead, he passed me a code of shame that many of us Indigenous people can relate to. Don't tell them that you're Native. Don't use your last name. Don't go to the reserve. You'll be, you won't get the job. I remember him telling me that when I was applying for a job as a young teenager. Make sure you go hand it in because if they see your last name, you won't get the job. So I had to grow up with this unknowing, this calling. I knew I was connected in some way to this land. I knew that I had this fire inside of me, but I didn't know, I didn't know anything about it. I, I had been taught to hide it. And I remember as I started to seek my culture, go back to my community, I was afraid. I was afraid they wouldn't accept me. I was afraid I wasn't native enough. And, but I went anyways. I remember sitting at an event and they started the event with what's called the Ahoda Gariwa Degwa. And they're called the words before all else. The Thanksgiving address is how we start all gatherings. It's how we bring our minds together to acknowledge and to give gratitude for all elements of creation and to bring our minds in that space. Sometimes those, th those uh, prayers can take up to 20, 30 minutes. When is the last time that you spent